Hello, everyone. I think this is working. Uh, I gotta like open a thing. I gotta like go grab a thing off camera and bring it in. I just got Micro Macro today, which is a really awesome board game where we can basically play. And I'm gonna set up like a second camera so you guys can see it. And basically what we can do is it's like, where's Waldo and you solve murder mysteries, which could also be fun. So we can do that. We're gonna play some micro macro together, friends. I'm gonna put on some music for us. I'm gonna set the mood. I'm gonna put on a little bit of lo-fi girl. Um, lo-fi girl is the best. And then we're gonna go and I'm gonna set up a camera and we are going to play a game and it's gonna be fun. I promise it's gonna be real fun. Yay, we did it, yay, okay. And you can sort of see this map. Like I said, once I get the other camera, it'll be a bit better. Uh, lipstick check, good to go. Good to, that's good to hear. That's what I like. I'm glad. All right, friends. So this says warning, spoiler alert. Do not look at the reverse side of the cards. Do not open the card packets before instructed to do so. Be sure to read the instructions first. Page one game instructions. Okay, cool. So this is just a spoiler warning. I don't know if you can see this little person with their sign, but they're pretty fun. I just like all the art in this. It's really good. Okay, all right. Micro Macro, Crime City. Crime City, welcome to Crime City, babies. Welcome to Crime City, a city with crime lurking around every corner. That's why we call it Crime City. Deadly secrets, sneaky robberies, and cold-blooded murders are commonplace around here. Detectives, we need your investigative skills to help deal with the situation. You will play together in a team to try and solve the numerous crimes that have taken place in the city. Um, all right, so we have the city map and we have 120 case cards, 16 envelopes. Yeah, so we got these envelopes. Uh, we got the rules. Actually, I feel like, I wish I could, maybe I can. Oh, well, I'll just flip things around so you can see them too. We'll leave the camera as it is. I think I've played around enough with the setup, but I could always put my camera so that it's over here so that you can see from the same side as where I'm looking. I'm just thinking in the future. Might be a good idea. Uh, so yeah, we got these cards. There's like a sticker in here or something. Cards. And... Uh, Oh, we have a magnifying glass sticker. Oh, this is a magnifying glass. Oh, look at that. Whoa, zoom in on my lips. My eye. Does it work well for, oh, oh, not really, but it just makes things more blurry, but that's okay. <laughs> if I was living in the same complex as Lucy and Joss, you would say that it is their fault. Yes, I'm not. Li I do not live in the same complex as Lucy and Joss, so uh, we can't blame them for this one, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I can't blame them for this one. This is just my internet being awful. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it is, but uh, yeah. I mean, now it's fine. Now is it fine for everyone? Is it good? Let me know. Let me know if it's good. Okay, so we've got that. We've got a magnifying glass plus a sticker. This is the sticker. So we have all the ingredients. I'm gonna put this box over here. Micro macro, let's go. Let's go. Let's go micro macro. Obi-Wan Hotamani, thank you so much for following by the way. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna take a little sip of my tea. Okay, put the sticker into the magnifying glass. If possible, try to avoid looking too closely at the cards. Oh, don't look at them. It's a secret. Call it RFTM. Read the Fargan Manual. It is, uh, that is what we're doing, yeah. Gotta read the rules. And I did play this game a little bit, but, um, 
I when I was at Essen, I only played it like a tiny amount. Oh, I'm just supposed to put this on the. I don't know if I'm supposed to put it on here. I think on here. Onto the magnifying glass. Okay. There's no picture for that. I'm gonna assume for the magnifying glass, we're supposed to put the sticker down here because it's like the same size. I don't know. Should we put it up like that? There's also like two sides to this. I guess both sides. Yeah, it works both ways to magnify stuff. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna put it. I think I want to put it towards me. So I think I'm gonna put it like this. Well, I don't know though. This is like rounded. Oh, these edges are rounded, so it's supposed to go like this. I hate putting stickers on things. If anyone here has seen me do Legos, uh, it is makes me very nervous. Yeah, now this is crooked. Why? No, can I fix it? Oh, I'm nervous. I don't want to rip the sticker. Guys, don't let me rip this sticker. If I rip this sticker, I'm gonna cry. I don't want to cry. Okay. All right, we got it off. Now let's see if we can do a better job. That's a little bit better. Okay. Okay, I'm happier. I'm happier with that placement. That's that's good placement. I also get very nervous when you have to do that for screens. Like if you have like a screen protector. That makes me so anxious putting those on. All right, so micro macro, we got the sticker on. So that's done. Okay, so now we're gonna, now we're gonna, what are we gonna do? 16 different criminal cases. Each case consists of a deck of case cards. Each of these cards is marked in the top right corner with the case icon along with the card number. Sort the cards of each case into an envelope in the correct order. Oh, okay. Um, and the icons basically tell you like how friendly these are in terms of like how hard they are and how like not family friendly they are, which is a cool thing about this game. Um, so like if you can see, like there's this little icon on here. So this would tell us that the case is, which kind of looks like Arthur to me actually. I don't know if you guys can see this little guy up here in the corner. Uh, but that guy is the car accident. Uh, we can do the introductory case. How about that? Which is this super smiley guy. And the car accident is super easy. And then it's also like family friendly. Cause that's what that symbol means. Um, oh, actually, I don't know if that's the car accident one. It's not cause there's the balloon. So the balloon tells us what the case is. So in this case, Haha, ha. it's disappeared without a trace, which is actually a really hard one. The top hat is the introductory case. So we're gonna do this one with the little top hat and it's uh, family friendly. So pretty family friendly anyways, cause it doesn't have glasses, but it's got a smile. So yeah, <gasps> a vampire. Don't worry, I'm not a regular vampire. I'm just a space vampire, so it's all cool. A space vampire who also has attachments to hell la 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 la. Okay, let's do it. Let's do this. Okay, so I'm also supposed to do this without really looking at these, so let me just try to um, not, pretend I'm not looking at them. That's one. I'll sort the rest of these later. And we'll go from there. This is so much fun. Thank you so much for hanging out with me through the technical difficulties, friends, and playing this game with me. It brings me lots of happiness. You all bring me lots of joy, and I just want to say thank you. Seriously. Okay. Okay, so it's only five cards, so I don't think it'll be too long as well. Okay, so let's read the rules and then we'll be good to play. And the rules are very short, so. So what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to spread the city map open in a suitable place and a large table is obviously best, which I have a large table, but it has all my streaming stuff on it. So we're just gonna kind of open it as we need. We're gonna do our best with that. I'll open that in a minute. 
All players should have a good view of the city map. The table should be in a position so that all players can move around it and freely view the map from all sides. Make sure you have good lighting. You will need a bright lamp or daylight. The game is often about noticing small details, which is made more difficult in poor lighting. The entire city map should always be completely visible. It may be best to keep drinks, etc., off the side. Got it. Don't have drinks on the game. And the case cards should always be next to the map and not on top of it. Otherwise, you may inadvertently cover the exact scene you were searching for. Okay. Good to know. Um, I think I am going to switch my webcams. Will that will that bother anyone in the chat if I do that? Just so you guys can see the game a little bit better, because this is not this is a good camera for the focus. Okay, friends, we did it. Look, we did it. This isn't really much better, but I can at least lift things up to the camera here. And it is a lot better for the quality. So I'm still happier with this switch. <laughs> Looks at messy apartment. <laughs> yeah, my apartment's a mess. I mean, it's... Look, I got a lot of board games, okay? I have to move a lot of things off this table to stream on it. That's the issue. I just have too many things. I'm just a, like a little bit of a hoarder, but also just a collector of things. So, you know. All right, so we're gonna spread out the map. And then we're gonna get playing. So spread out the map and yes, make sure you have good lighting. The entire city map should always be completely visible. It may be best to keep drinks, etc., off the side. The case card should always be next to the map and not on top of it. Otherwise, you may inadvertently cover the exact scene you're searching for. Oh, that's a good point. Hmm, okay. So they're like really driving home this idea of you want to have bright light. I should get a little flashlight. To understand the principle of the game, we recommend starting off with the introductory case, the top hat. That's what we're doing. You can start the case right now while reading the rules. Designate a player to take on the role of lead investigator. He or she leads the investigation and is responsible for reading the text on the cards. Take the deck of cards. Named, I guess I will be the lead investigator since you can't read the cards. Um... It's okay to look at my messy apartment. It's fine. No, that's fine, Avon. You can you can look at it. I just I try to keep you guys. I try to shelter you all from the mess that is my life a little bit. You know what I mean? I like to keep my mess as mine a little bit. But I have some cool stuff behind me. I have like lots of pops and lots of board games and stuff. Uh, yeah. So it's like pretty cool. Like if you if I put this up, I can show you. If you want to see some of my cool stuff. Look at my cool stuff! That's the mess. That was stuff that used to be on the table, but look at all my cool stuff. I also have lots of DVDs. Maybe too many DVDs, some might say, but not me. I wouldn't say that. There we go. Sweet. Fire, yes. I feel like a dumpster fire emoji would be appropriate <laughs> a little bit just because I have so many things. Yeah, it's, I, it's a lot. Yay, yay, yay. <laughs> All right, friends, let's keep going through this. Ooh. We're gonna open this map. So I'm the lead investigator. I have the cards over here. They're safe. I'm gonna open this map. Hopefully I can close it again later. Ooh, that's, that's a lot of map. Um, we gotta keep opening. It's not even completely open. Ooh. Whoa, wow. There's a lot of map. I don't wanna rip it. But... Why is it like that? Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, just, there we go. No? This also doesn't like to stay tight, so I might... Words that I say and then I hear myself say them and I'm like, Amanda, no, don't say that. Yeah, 
I think this would actually be better. If I put it on like that. Oh, map. Look, stay here. Yeah. I feel like having things is good. But sometimes you're like, oh, do I have too many things? Maybe. I don't know. This cord is going to be a problem, isn't it? going to be a problem, aren't you? There we go. Okay. The map is a little smooshed. Because, yeah, but it's really long. So there's a lot of map on the ground. I will move my computer back. Which just means you all get to see more cosplay, so it's really not a bad thing at all. Does that going to fall off? Okay. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. All right, where are these rules at? I know it said to not cover the map. I know that was a rule. I promise I won't cover the map for a long time. We'll only cover it for a small amount of time. I feel like I should put something. I need like paperweights for this. Okay, we've got the map, friends. My stuff is an extension of me? It can be, yeah. It definitely feels that way sometimes with how much I hold on to it. <laughs> uh, I need to get rid of more clothes is what I'm saying and shoes right now and board games, to be honest. I definitely have over 200 of them now and for the small apartment I live in, that 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 might be too many and I want more, so I need to get rid of some. Gotta make some hard choices. How many board games is too many board games is the question. All right, friends, so I am the lead investigator. I have the cards. Is there anything else that we really need to know? Take the deck of case cards, yeah. And place the deck next to the map. The top card is always the start card of a case. It gives an overview of the crime to be solved and shows a picture of the main character. The lead investigator now reveals the start card and reads the text on the back aloud. And all text cards have to be read loud and clear because they often contain important information. Likewise, the illustrations on cards should be looked at by all players. Okay. The front of the second card now the top card of the deck describes the first task that you must solve on a black background. Okay, cool. If you think you have found the solution, the lead investigator turns the card over and checks whether the coordinates in the scene shown on the back of the card match your findings. Okay, so on the back it'll show us the picture, so we don't want to look at the back. Now the top, the front of the second card, now the top card of the deck. Okay. The solution to a task is always a specific scene on the city map. Now find the matching scene. If you think you found it, the lead investigator turns the card over and checks whether the coordinates on the scene show the, on the back match your findings. Oh, okay, and there's coordinates on the cards, got it. You can't just take a guess. You must always find a scene on the city map that confirms your solution. If your solution is correct, the lead investigator reads the text on the back of the card aloud and shows the other players the illustration. If your solution is wrong, the lead investigator immediately puts the card back without reading the card text. Okay, so there's someone that kind of like guides us through. Got it. Put it aside. A new card is on top of the deck. This is your new task. Okay, so we gotta solve all four of these tasks. And now we've learned how to play the games. Something about some symbols, which will come to when that matters. And there's an advanced version, which will come to when that matters. We'll take this stuff off. Ah, thank you. Yes, I love this cosplay. It is good. I'm gonna bring us closer so you guys can see some of the details on the map. And I can always move what you can see. So you guys can kind of look around the map with me. Okay. Okay.
Okay, so this is it. Let's try this now. The top hat, introductory case. I should probably move my microphone closer to me while I say this. Um, this is the start card for the case. The lead investigator now turns over the start card and reads the text on the back aloud. Introductory case. Fernando Branca was on his way to his local pub. Upon arrival, he noticed that his top hat had disappeared. The pub is located in the east of the city between Neptune Park and the hardware store. Now put this card aside. The next card on the stack describes your first task on a black background. Find the pub. This is Fernando wondering how he lost his top hat. Do you guys want to see Fernando so you know who we're looking for? That's Fernando there. He looks like a little snowman. Yeah, there you go. Now you can see him. Great. <laughs> so now that you know what Fernando looks like, let's let's try to find him. Where do we have? We have our magnifying glass as well, which I can kind of use. Okay, wow. There's a lot to look at here. I don't even know where to begin. Oh, I guess we should start with the first task. Find the pub. So we want to find the pub. This is your first task. So find the pub. And it says to not turn the card over because obviously the solution will be on the back here. So let's not turn it over yet. Okay. Okay. So once we find the pub, then we can check. So let's see. I mean, I see some bottles up on this roof here. I don't know if you guys can see. Actually, I think this might just be easier if I just take this off. And I wish I had a Bluetooth camera. Is that a thing? Yeah, this is definitely way easier. So, there's like some bottles over here, but I don't think this is a pub. So, I don't know. Let's see. There's a church. Or is that a factory? What is this over here? Some people with upside down crosses? I don't know. I don't know about that. you all feel that I pass by a pub. <gasps> Wait, this looks like the pub. There's people drinking wine. Do you guys see Fernando anywhere here? Because this looks like a pub to me. Uh, I don't see Fernando. I see this guy with a pointy nose, but that's not Fernando. know if I found it. I don't want to look yet because I'm like, maybe there's another pub? But there's wine! Is this a wine store or a pub? Okay, let's keep looking. Let's keep looking. Um, there's a place for hamburgers. There's like a subway metro station. There's an apartment building. Yeah, there's like lots of stuff on this map. This is like a place that sells everything, like a general store over here. Do you guys see the general store? Red Sonia is my favorite, but she's also one of my favorite characters. Oh, I have an awesome Red Sonia cosplay that I'm very in love with. That I actually wore- oh! I have a TikTok with it. I wore it for Halloween, so that was pretty fun. So you should definitely check that out if you haven't seen it already. Maybe you have seen it already. This also looks like it could be a pub because there's lots of bottles. Or is this just like a backyard patio? I don't know what's happening over here. You know what I mean? Hmm. I don't see Fernando over there. Usually I feel like um, in the example I was shown, it's like you'll usually see the person around the spot. There's a lot of map, friends. There's a lot of map. Can I fold? Also, is there two sides? No. Oh my god, that would be crazy. Alright, let's see. I didn't see it over there. So let's see. Unless it's that wine store that I thought it was at the beginning. 
some people over here in a line. No, I don't think that's it. There's a part. There's an apartment building. This is definitely like a backyard over here. Supermart? Supermart? Was that Fernando or is that a baby? That's like a missing child. You seeing that? On the corner? That's like a missing child. Hey, Cosmic Baron, welcome, welcome. We're playing some micro macro together. We're trying to find, so I think it was that first place I saw. Oh wait, or is this it? This looks like a pub over here. Oh, what's this? Do you see Fernando in his top hat? Vernissage. Oh wait, is this a painting place? This is an alcohol store. This is where people go to buy alcohol. These people are having a good time over here, which I like. This also looks like, this is a child still. This child is missing and is on a story. That's a whole other case. I feel like, yeah, I still don't see Fernando. Hmm. I think it must have been the first spot that we saw. I think I found it earlier. Unless, oh wait, this looks like the pub. <gasps> There's Fernando. Do you guys see that? We found him. Ah! I need to clean my nails. I'm not gonna put my nails in the shot anymore. My nails look gross. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, there's Fernando. And he is standing there. Looking uh, like he lost his top hat. So I think that's success. So I think we're going to check that and see if that's right. So let's see. Um, can you guys hear me okay, by the way, if I turn away from the mic? Yeah, you can still hear me okay, right? Yeah. Okay, good. I'm just checking my audio here. So let's see if we got it right. So we are in G... G... Uh, G like two is the section, G two. So let's see if G two is correct and this is Fernando. Hey, we got it, the pub, G two. There's Fernando and there's Fernando. Yeah. Very good, that's the pub. Fernando stands in front of it and is surprised that his top hat has disappeared. He still had it on his head when he was at the sausage stand, northeast of Neptune Park. He's sure of that. Now put this card aside and solve the task on the following card in the same way. So I think we need to go to Neptune Park, which we already saw, I think this is Neptune Park. So that's just a little bit up from the pub. And he said he was on the northeast side. So this is north going up this way. And then east would be this way. So somewhere over here. Okay, I'm gonna put this down for a second. <laughs> we'll grab the next card. Gingerbread man! Yeah, we're trying to find Fernando's hat. He lost it. His poor, his poor hat, it's gone. No. So let's go on to the next one. So this card says, find the sausage stand, which is on, I guess, the northeast side. Also, was that my camera or was that my video? I don't know. You good, camera? You got a little thing on you? Is that what's happening? I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully it's my video and not my camera that's damaged. Do you guys see that little flicker? Or is that just my screen? They said the pub, did they say that the pub was near a park? Um, I don't think, I don't know if they said that. Oh, <laughs> they did say it was near the park. You're right, I was not even listening. Michael, you were listening more to when I read this card. Thank you. But we found, we found the pub. So we found the pub 
which is here. So there's Fernando. Um, and then Fernando said that he was at the sausage stand. So we know the sausage stand is um, northeast of Neptune Park. So we got the pub. So now we got to find the sausage stand. So I'm going to put that over there. So that should be somewhere over in this area. Oh, there's the sausage stand. Sweet. Oh, there's Fernando with his top hat. We found him. We found him. Sweet. So there's Fernando with his top hat. Sausage, sausage stand gets him every time. So now we probably have to like follow where he went. So it looks like he's like heading this way. Um, oh, there he is again. So then it looks like he's heading like this way still on the sidewalk. Um, do you guys see him anywhere here? Oh, and there he is without it. So where did he go? Did he go in the park? Oh, there's a fishing line. Do you guys see that? And if we follow, oh, this kid took his hat. Oh, he stole his hat. Oh my gosh. Okay, so then what happens? Do you see anything else around here with the kid? Oh, there they are on the bench. Do you see that? Laughing about stealing his hat. Wow, that's so rude. And then where do they go after the bench? Let's zoom out a little bit. Do you see this? these kids? Hmm. Hmm. see them anywhere in the park maybe they left the park i don't know we found the sausage stand though we found the sausage stand I see someone chasing someone over here i don't know what's happening with that but that doesn't look good wowzers definitely styles thank you so much for following the channel we are trying to find fernando's hat where did it go we know it's here we know these kids took it so that's the thing that happened. Put this down for a second. So we found the sausage stand. So the sausage stand, I'm getting ahead of myself. So let's let's go back to the sausage stand. So here's, just move this. So you can see, I don't know, yo, you can't see it in my shot, but it's literally like coming up onto the mic. Uh, the delay between our comments and chat and you seeing them seems longer than usual. Yeah, my delay right now is a minute, which I think if I play another game of this, I'm not going to give you guys a minute delay. I'm going to give you like a uh, 30 second delay in the future because my stream seems to be running really smoothly when I just do the two cameras and a little bit of background music. Um, so yeah, but it's a minute delay. So if you say something, I will see it but it will be a minute later. So you're gonna have to be, I don't know. I'm gonna, if, if I'm struggling though, then your your help will be very appreciated. Uh, but it should be 60 seconds, Michael. So this is a sausage stand and the card says H1, which if we look at the sausage stand, we are in H1, H1. So we are in H1, which means we found the sausage stand. And this card says, This is the sausage stand. Fernando can be seen making his way to the pub from here. At that point, he still had his top hat on his head. Note, different scenes on the city map show different times during the course of the story. Which I already knew from the demo that I played. So we got that. So now what do we do? Let's check what happens next. I don't know if I can change the delay once I'm streaming, but if I can, I would love to do that. But I don't know how I... Oh, I think we already solved this next one, actually. But for next time, I will, I will give myself less of a delay because now I know. This is doing pretty good. I'm so happy. Okay. So this says, what happened on the way? How is the top hat nicked? Which I feel like we already know that. He 
because we already, I already kind of like got into it and was following him. So he comes over here for those who missed it. You can see Fernando there with his top hat. And then these kids with their little hook steal his top hat. And then they go to the park and then we see them on the bench. So that's where his top hat is right now. So we know that, I think. Did we answer that question? I don't know where they go from here. We can try to see if there's any other evidence around here. Like we can look in different directions. This looks like one of the kids. What do they look like? They have like these little like broccoli heads. They have like broccoli heads. But there's a lot of kids with broccoli heads. Um, but yeah, so like there's someone over here, which might be them. Who was I looking at? Oh yeah, this kid over here, but I only see one of them. So I don't think that's right. Oh yeah, that looks like a totally different person actually. Now that I zoom in. This is actually really good to play with the camera. <laughs> I don't see them anywhere else. I just see them in the park. So I think we solved it. I think we solved it. So I think I'm gonna check. Is everyone good to check? I'll wait a minute for you guys. And we'll, we'll keep looking. Let me know if you guys are good to, to flip it. Like, here's also the same person I think that I saw over there. I think they're wearing like a skirt. This looks like the same person as this person. Also, I love all the art in this. It's so cute. Here's two people. What are these people doing? They're like having a conversation over drinks. They look like they're having an argument. Where else could they have gone from the park? Like, could have crossed the street. They could have gone maybe back this way to the subway. Yeah, I think we've solved that part because we found out how it got taken. So I think we're good to flip. Whoa, four minutes. That's a long time. Yeah, I shouldn't have a four minute delay. I don't know if I can check it. Let me just see if I can check really quick. I'm gonna check though and see. Yeah, G1, we got it. So we found out how they took it. So that was over here. So you can see on the card and you can see in the picture. And it says it happened here on the way to the pub. The two rascals fished the top hat off of his head. The answer you are looking for always refers to a scene on the city map. It can't just be guessed. You need to find evidence on the exact spot on the map. You gotta find the evidence. So that's the crime scene. So we only have one card left, because that was four of five, so one card left. And I'll check my um, delay. Let me do that first. Let me put you guys back on here for a second. Woo! Only thing about vampy cosplay, always constantly worried about where my, my boobas are at. move this over a bit and I will check micro macro let's just see if I can check my settings mm -hmm. broccoli likes to hang around cheese check it I mean, broccoli should like to hang around cheese because it's delicious. Yeah, it says my stream delay should only be 60 seconds. So, automatically reconnect. That's what I see here, 60 seconds. If I change it to 20 seconds. 
I don't know if that'll change during this stream, but I changed it to 20 seconds for the next stream. So we'll see how that goes. So I don't know if it'll be retroactively changed here, but thank you for keeping an eye on that, Michael. Four minutes is like crazy. I don't know why it's so long. Cause I only have 60 seconds in there. Maybe it's just because some kind of weird lag between like where we are. I don't know. Maybe it's my internet. You know what I mean? When in doubt. Okay. Last card, friends. This is the last one. Are you ready? We're gonna do the thing. Where are the culprits sitting with the loot? Oh, we already solved this one. For sure. So where are they sitting with the loot? Um, they're in the park on the bench. I love this game so much. I just feel like it's so much fun. I know I'm not going to be able to. So like in each game, there's 16 cases and I got, there's two versions right now and I got both of them. So, um, yeah, I got both of the versions. So that'll be 31 cases. But then once they're solved, the only thing is like, it's not really super replayable. I was talking to the people that demoed it at SN and they were like, you can wait like a while until you forget and then you can replay stuff. Um, or you can uh, like just basically gift it to someone. So I think I'll probably do that when I'm done. Or you can hang up the picture they said. If I had more wall space, I mean, maybe behind me here, but you can hang it up and then people can try to find stuff on it when they come over. All right, let's flip it. The escape, oh my goodness. So there they are on the bench and here they are on the bench. So we definitely got that one, friends. That one is definitely good. That's G1 and we are in, can you see it? Oh. G1, G1, okay. So it says, they are there. The two rascals are sitting on a park bench with their prize. Well done. Now you've learned how to play the game and can now attempt to solve more complicated cases. And that, my friends, is the amazing micro macro. I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed that. As much as I enjoyed playing with you, it was really fun. Yeah. But yeah, so that is the game. I hope you had a good time. Um, but yeah, how did everyone like it? Did you guys have fun? Uh, sorry you weren't able to be as quite as active because it's kind of hard to see all of this map. Um, slash my delay makes it a little hard. So I will try to do that. I'll try to reduce that for when we're playing board games going forward. But I hope you had fun. Let me know. Twitch has been acting up too. Okay, that's good to know. So maybe it's Twitch, I, I don't know. But yeah, my, my delay is only 60 seconds for the stream. I'm gonna try to, this is a game in and of itself, me folding up this map, by the way. Okay, I think it was like this. And then, know how it goes from here. Maybe like we fold it like that. Oh, that feels right. You know what's really satisfying when you fold a map and you, you can feel like where the folds are supposed to go? Oh, that's so satisfying. I love it. Color it. Color the map. That would make it, uh, I don't know, would that make it harder or easier, do you think? I think it would make it harder, actually. Then there's like more visual stimuli for me to take in. Oh, I don't know how this goes. Like this? This is the hard part. How do we, how do I fold this part? And it looks like it goes, oh, and then like that. But shouldn't it go so that this is on the outside? How would that, no, I don't know. Maybe like, no, that's not right. That's what feels right. So I'm gonna go with that. It just means that micro macro isn't out on the map, but that's like a very small, small detail. 
Yeah, so that's micro macro. I'm gonna put the box over here so you can all check it out. There's also um like a mystery like even on the box. So like when they do the demo, you're looking for like this guy and you're trying to find out what happened to him. And they said that the demo was on the box. So you he's at the burger joint, so you have to find the burger joint. So can you guys find the burger joint on here? It is right over here. This is the burger joint. And if you look, you will see the guy. I think, where is he? With his little ears. And there he is in the car. I think he's somewhere around here. I don't remember. I did I did it in the demo though. I, I swear this is like a real thing uh, that they have you do. He's like a cute little guy. Anyways, that's uh there's like a demo that you can play that's just on the box, which is pretty pretty sweet. Which makes me very happy. I really like this game. It won the Spiel de Jar. So this award down here, which if you're not as into board games as I am. Um, this is like a super prestigious award. Oh my gosh, Michael, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the donation. Thank you, thank you. 